Hello everybody, welcome back this to MOBA Madness. It's so mad. <laughs> anyway, this time we're playing D O A no D O T A D O T A Dota. Yeah. You I can spell. spell. It wrong. What? I can what? I can spell. <laughs> I got a great. I went skewed, man. Anyway. Yes, it's almost time for we are playing to die. Dota 2. I believe this is like the second biggest Faster. MOBA Faster. currently. After League of Legends. Uh, it's a bit weird depending on who's uh, who exactly is number one in My these things. Well, if, you, if you go by Twitch chat, if you go by Twitch viewers, League always has the most followed by Dota. Yes. But um, like it depends on big events and stuff like that usually. It begins. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so the yes. Tools for the Lord Dota. Of Dota is fairly similar to um, League, basically in gameplay, but it has there's a lot of little things. It's all about the little things in this game that make that make a lot of differences. Uh, I I I uh, I'd say there's actually quite a few big things in that change the way the I game guess. works, but. Um, We'll get into that, don't worry. Okay, uh, well, one thing I'm going to say is it's a bit different from this is, um, this one seems a lot less, as Sean was saying in the first videos, um, big duels and more, um, sort of like jumps and twitch action and sort of like comparing, uh, oh shit, look out, uh, a bit more like, out. Oh fuck, I got locked, okay. I got locked! I'm gonna figure out how Ah, Oh, that did not go well. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's, that's the sort of thing that's happening in this game. Yeah. Like, League, that can't have, like, being dead, like, level 1, unless you are really, really dumb, just doesn't happen in League. Yeah. But in this game, like, you die very, very, very quickly. Like, one mistake and you're dead. So. Yeah, it, it, to be honest, it's more like uh, I, I, don't, I hate using this comparison, but it's kind of like Call of Duty. You know, in that one, um, these blades in that game, it's very less. Hey, I'm going to uh, use a great combination on you. And, no, hey, I'm just going to just throw tons of grenades, shoot you, and maybe and pray you're dead. And if so, yay. And then maybe you insult your mother. Yeah. So th this is the that's the main reason. I, I should point out that that's probably the main reason I don't like this game. <laughs> well, I normally wouldn't like like I'm probably describing the, the way that I'm describing this game sounds horrible, but to be honest, I actually I don't like this game quite a lot. I think it comes from a few little things. Uh, mainly, I really just love all the various little nuances that you can customize in this game. I'm not just talking about, um, no I'm not so really talking about no skills as we were in League, like with their summoner spells. That you can't actually, that is the happen here, and you can't actually best. customize. But one thing you can customize is, um, well, victim. one, uh, there's various pieces of, um, like, uh, clothing that you can get from your character. Oh, damn you, Earth Shaker. Uh, you can get for your character. Um, be it uh, sort of uh, like either different weapons, different helmets, or uh, bracers. And um, you can also customize the. Um, the More announcer, I, I really like that because there's some awesome announcers out there. We're to, we got to, uh, if you can you'll hear it, I've got the Gladius announcer currently on, but there's ones like the Stanley Parable announcer, and I just love that. Um, so let's see what else. There's you can customize the loading screens, a brand new thing. You can customize the weather effects, and you can customize the HUD UI, which is good. I, I just yes. love all those little things I can customize. It's quite nice. Yeah, on on the other side though, like the thing about the thing about us that you probably should realize is uh, Michael loves visual like visual customization. And I love actual gameplay customization. Now there is no gameplay customization in this game at all. Uh, you start each game completely the same as any other person that would start the game with the same character. Yes. 
um, with uh, with very few differences. There's no like little tailoring to uh, yeah. to ah, your no. your middle so, tower is under attack. Michael, don't get too close because the uh, yeah, yeah, has I'm fortified on, on its outside. structures. Yeah. Um, now, some I, I do your really like the customizations for visuals in this game. Don't get me wrong. I just kind of do like being able to customize my uh, characters more. I'm not playing with like one line. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. If you can hear in the background, we got, uh, fr we're playing with a friend, Pete. Anyway, yeah, yeah. um... Trolling for victims. Um, fence, anyway, what's... Like, like, like if, if we had a game which had both, then that would be awesome, but unfortunately we don't. Yeah. Which, um, let's choose. see, what, what else can we talk about you apart from visual customization? Um... Before. Well, okay, how, how about this? Let's talk about one of the major cons I personally have with this game, and that is... If you will follow my, my mouse path. real quick right there the map and it's not, it's not no problem with the map itself it's the problem that the map is right there now My the main problem I have with this is that because it is there now normally you would think well oh, what's what's the main problem no with the map being there in this sort of game since a lot of the time you'll be moving diagonally if you're trying to run away like say you're on the radiant side you want to run back and you accidentally click the map you're going to be clicking around the enemy's base, so you're not going to you're going to stop running away and start running towards the enemy, and that can kill you sometimes. And that is a major problem I've had, and it's the opposite for the enemies. Instead of pushing forward, you run back, and it's like, oh god, I didn't want to do that. Your little tower is being attacked. Yeah. So, so yeah. basically, basic UI design would say that the most important areas of the screen are the top uh, are the top right and the bottom left, because of course do uh, MOBAs always pretty much go from. Uh, bottom left, right. Some don't, but most of them do. Now, the, in, the, in that case, you would want the not. Uh, you would want as m little UI in those areas as possible. But um, unfortunately, in this game, uh, the the biggest thing in the UI is actually the bottom left, which uh, kind of takes attacked. out a large portion of your screen. Oh, we've uh, silence. Who silences us? And if you accidentally click oh, on silence, it, you sorry. run in the opposite direction yes! from you're wanting. It's yeah. the main. It's the main issue that the the reason of the uh, of Don't the uh, cross my path. Yeah. of the map. Now I actually have a different another problem with this game. Now some people really like this, um, especially hardcore players. Um, the uh, the Your snowball in this game is actually a heck of a lot worse than in other mobas. I when, well, when I say worse, I mean it 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 is a lot faster than in other mobas. If you yeah. die in this game. Uh, normally in MOBAs, the opponent, whoever kills you, gets a, a, a coin My bonus. Um, in this game, you actually also lose money. So basically, it's not like uh, they get a small Wait, advantage. It's you, they no get an advantage, allies. and you get a disadvantage. So it doubles the doubles the penalty, but pretty much for dying. I, yeah. I, I've got to admit, that is, that is one thing I prefer in League, but... Um... It, yeah, it, it's the same thing in most in most normal mobas is the fact that you just get coin and that's it. Um, losing money in a game in this game is very crippling. And then, like, if if they snowball enough, you literally can't buy any more items because they kill you so much, and you are unable to farm that you you can't actually gain enough money to continue uh, buying items. I only mentioned it as a okay. conversation well, starter. How are you doing out there? Accidentally ran forward instead of running back, so I died. It's it's as simple as that. that that's the uh, my, like I said, that's my issue with um with the uh, one mistake and you're dead. Type my thing. Yeah, I think a lot of us suffer from that. But this game does have a few other things that League doesn't have. Um, for yeah, one, uh, I think innocence. all the trees are actually physical trees rather than like some sort of thing yes. that you know some sort of like model that's just there to block things you know they actually um can be chopped down and certain enemy attacks and abilities actually interact with the trees um another one is um there are no grass there's no grass like uh, that you can hide in like uh, in League of Legends if you want to hide you would hide in the trees which can be a little unreliable depending on the, how the trees are you know, actually uh, formed, but it's. Michael, back up. Yep, backing up. And what else? Um, oh, you have couriers in this one. Um, 
you can have cu you can buy a courier which will deliver your items to you, um, this, which is uh, very useful if you're one of those characters that doesn't often, it's not often able to go back to the shop. And you can, you can actually buy things no, out of the shop. I, I find that is a nice little, well, not a perfect. It's not perfect. Uh, I find it's um, a nice little balance to uh, like the um, to the losing gold when you uh, die is that the fact that you can spend that gold without having to be at the base. Which I can't. I can't like. That means I don't have to go all the way back to the base in order to spend gold. Um, the downside of this, of course, means that there is no uh, B button. So you cannot, um, Your you cannot tower teleport back to the base attacked. like you can yeah. pretty much every other MOBA. Radiant structures yeah, have been fortified. but um, one thing to... Uh, you can buy a, a teleport scroll that can teleport you to a nearby friendly building, or in some cases a, a friendly uh, creep, but... They're expensive. They I would say they're expensive, but they're like a hundred gold each. They're 125. Oh, sorry, 135, which is like three creep kills, which is pretty expensive. Your middle tower is under attack. Like, think about it this way: it's like for that same amount of money, you could buy something that boosts your stats. So, yeah, they, they're pretty expensive. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of another form of customization, you can actually customize not only your wards but your courier. So, and there is a uh, word of being able to customize the actual uh, creeps themselves down the line, or at least their I mega know. creeps. I can't so wait I'm, I'm looking forward, to, and I look forward to that as well. Uh, another th advantage I think this game has over um, League Your of Legends is, is, is actually by it. Valve. And while well, you're thinking, what, what does that mean? Well, it, it's because it, Valve have good terms My with several other developers, middle tower is under siege. and because of this, they can have crossovers. And they've already had it. Like um, for that Thief game that came out a few months ago, there's actually a set for the Drow Ranger, which is a character, Your middle tower which is, is Thief. It's a, um, it's actually. Um, uh, uh, the loadout that the thief character uses, and I really like that. And it's not just that for that for a thief; it can that, that sort of thing can happen for several other games. And uh, this is something that I don't think League of Legends could do because um, I, don't, I don't think uh, other developers would be on such good terms with them as uh, Valvar. And I. There are actual characters in League of Legends. I can just think of perfect crossovers. One would be um, what's her name, Annie? What's the one that drops drops Tibbers? Yeah, Annie. Annie. That's yeah, I I, I, you could just do a Bioshock crossover with her, and Tibbers would be a big daddy. I I would totally buy that. But yeah, no. To be honest, there there's some there is some uh, sort of hats is under other siege. businesses in in League. Some yeah, of the uh, actual skins are based on certain things. Yeah, but they're tips of the hat and not much more. That's a. Uh... Well, that's what all the crossover is. The crossover is a tip of the hat. The, sort the of, but some it. some are not just tipping the hat. They're like uh, handing the hat over and having them tip it back at you. Sort of like, well, I think. I have no idea if that's no an analogy. Uh, that's probably the 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 oh. analogy because that requires you know the other developer to do something. Uh, <laughs> sometimes they do is in forms of TF2, like they'll uh Your middle tower has they'll, been uh, they'll have a TF2 item in their uh, their game, and I'm running out of here because I'm almost dead. Well, don't uh, forget TF2 yes. is also a Valve game, so that's not really a tip of the hat to another to another developer. That's just um, cross. Well, no, no, no. It's like uh, what was it? There's another game. Um, oh god, what was the game? What was the game that had uh, you got TF2 items in it? Oh, ki um, Killing Floor. TF2 got Killing Floor items, and Killing Floor got TF2 items. So that's that sort of thing. Yeah, but like, well, that's it. Like all all that crossover is is basically just a tip of the hat. It's not it really. It doesn't really change much in the way of gameplay. It doesn't really uh, no change much in the way of um, in the way of mechanics or how you will play the game. It, it's, it's more just of a uh, oh god, what try ranger doing? It's more of a um, trolling for victims. A, uh, a visual thing, as it were. It's, oh, yeah. it's nice, but not essential. 
I guess. Um, anyway, Faster. oh, there's another Faster. thing I was going to bring up. Uh, another major difference um, to this one that's not in League. Oh yes, every champion in, in, or hero yes, in this game really is free from the get-go. Now, uh, to new players, I found that to a new player just like who's never played a mobile before, I found this very um, overwhelming. Slightly it was like oh, oh, for there's so many player characters to pick from, uh, but it. And while it does have a tutorial and it does um, have bot matches and will has limited here it and has like a, a recommended heroes for new players, um, I still did find it overwhelming. Only late game after actually researching various some heroes, trying out a few I like, yes. did I actually now actually prefer this Your bottom tower one because it allowed siege. me to experiment a lot more and just try out champions unlike. In league, where I have to wait for them to be free for me to try them. Yeah. Uh, no, this is this is where I, I put my point in, and basically saying, well, that also means that there'll be a lot of players experimenting in games. Where you, don't want to you are going to kill us. Nobody. Um. Yeah, so basically you'll get a lot more players that don't know what they're doing in this game, which is the other issue. Um, because all because all, car all all the players will be experimenting a lot more. There's, there's no kind of mastery, as it were. I guess. Um, Although, uh, I like to practice. I was, I was practicing the bots before I, I go into the real games. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah. But, but just like, continue doing whatever it was you were doing. The character. Yeah. It's uh, a little different. But... Either way, um, yeah, that, that's why I don't particularly like it. I actually prefer it to not have everything unlocked. Yeah. That's also the other thing that I like about um, kind of anything, but this one about unlocking characters is the fact that the more it basically is like a collection thing. It takes time and effort to collect the characters, so you feel like you've achieved something as you basically get a fuller and fuller roster. Mm -hmm. um, whereas in this one you just My have them all from the get go, so you feel like you've achieved nothing at all. Uh, I guess. Um, yeah, another. Uh, there's another. Your bottom tower thing is that under was, attack. Uh, a bit of a difference between this, this should be um, is it has a day and night cycle. Uh, basically, what this means is that um, throughout the game it'll turn to nighttime sometimes. Your bottom tower is And um, when attacked. it's nighttime in this game. Uh, your character's the middle tower has view, fallen. It's like the fog of war Dyer will has increase. Fortified its um, structures. Your bottom now, tower is to be honest, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but there are actual some champions that will use it, that use this. Uh, your bottom I think tower Luna, is under I think attack. Night your bottom tower has been These destroyed. characters get bonuses for being in the dark. Uh, Luna's got better I night vision, and night stalker actually gains strength in the dark. And so these, this is one of the things I kind of like about Dota is that it actually has a little more stuff to c play around with than League. But at the same time, I will I will admit that League's got a bit more variety. But Dota's got more stuff for them to be varied about. I would say. I hate it you get me. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I love Troll Warlord. He's just so awesome. And, but you need some customization options. Come on, Valve, help me out here. Anyway, um... Don't cross my path! Uh, anyway. That's kind of like one of the other things. Um, because because the customization options are all like single pieces of armor and stuff like that, it, it also does mean that... Um, I think my... You Character's graphics of uh, animations of glitch. He's, he's he's not attacking. Yeah, um, but like because there's all they're all single pieces, it takes a lot more effort to make sure that they all work correctly. Yes. Boom, if you can, Michael. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, but on the as a counter These to that, are too dry. they actually also get the community to help out here because this has access to Steam Workshop. This means that. Um, Modelers My and modders can actually best. make their own. Then upload them to the workshop, and if liked, Madden. they'll uh, be added and sold on the shop. Which, to, to 
be honest, I think is quite Truly nice. I, it's a way for their players to help contribute. Yeah, like I, I do like the ability to have the Steam Workshop involved. Um, I it just I, there's nothing wrong with it. No I, I just like enough. saying that uh, there's less official stuff and more community-made stuff in this game than there is um, like full-on uh, sets that all kind of blend together nicely. The nice thing about this game is your your, your visual customizations and things that aren't necessary are dominating. Double kill. Mega kill. Are all, Triple uh, homicide. Uh, you can get them for free. You can uh, unlock them over time as you play, as because you get them. You get ah. free of them ah. anyway. Damn silencer. That is not good. That is definitely not good. Yeah. Spree. I think I might be getting some slight lag or something. It's some of the yeah. animations don't seem to be. Okay, it might, it's probably the video recording software. Um, let's see. What what else can we uh, talk about? Um, to be honest, that's that's really about it. Like that's pretty much all the di oh, the the other difference is when you level up, you're you don't stop after um, eighteen. Uh, you don't stop after eighteen. You go to In, like uh, twenty five, I believe. In this game, you've got 15 levels of um, level ups and then stats. Um, stats. No you can level up your stats. Unstoppable. So there's a bit more leveling up, and I find that um, I think I, I, it's probably actually because I lose gold when I'm actually dying. But in League, there have been games where it's gone on so long, and I've just got this gold, and there's nothing I can do with it. Uh, yeah, occasionally you get uh, stuck with a lot of gold. I actually have this that problem in this game quite a lot too. Like I end up like buying so much stuff and I can't actually use it all. Yeah. Oh, uh, one thing we'll say. Um, this is a complaint from uh, uh, Sean uh, about this about in particular is that almost every character has a stun. And yeah, I, th that's more about the Twitch gameplay type thing. Like every, uh, there's nearly a, there's so many stunts in this game compared to other, the, uh, another game. So basically, you can get stun locked straight out of the game. It's it's so bad. It's really annoying. Yeah. Um. To be honest, I can see where he's coming from. There are a lot of characters with stuns, and um, yeah, it can be annoying to be stunned now and then. As you'll have probably These seen, it's cost me a life or two in this game. But that said, um, My I don't mind it that much. I mean, yeah, it's annoying, but I don't mind it as much as I, don't, I think it bothers Sean. Yeah, it, it really does bother me. Like I said, mainly because the stuns are pretty one of one of the things that combined with the low HP and the amount of damage that all the spells do, the stuns are okay. basically like whoever gets hit by a stun first uh, loses a battle. They they die, there's nothing they can do about it. It's like I said, part of the Twitch gameplay, whoever whoever uh, fires first wins. Which is the thing about Call of Duty as well. Uh, that's one of the things about Call of Duty as well. No Basically, whoever fires first enough. wins in Call of Duty most of the time. Yeah, I, I can kind of agree with that. Um, there's also a few other things. Apparently, the the jungling in this game is slightly is randomized. Yeah, the, the jungling is randomized. The, uh, all jungle camps are. I don't uh, think it's all jungle camps. I swear there there are actually some. Like I know the one that's always closest to the, the bottom lane is always going to be small creeps. I don't know if you you're right on that. Like maybe maybe it's just models. No, no, it's um the uh, the four at the top and bottom of the map yes. are always small jungle camps, and then there's uh, ancients, I believe, which are the big I jungle camps at the left and right of the map. Um, there's a big one next to the secret shop. Yeah, they're they're both next to the secret shop. the The issue I have, the issue is that um, they're randomized, so you can sometimes get the birds, you can sometimes get the centaurs, you can sometimes get Your the mages or the shamans or whatever they are. But some of them have less Radiant less health, more damage, more health, less damage, and some of them just start ridiculous and you can't kill at all. Your middle tower is That's why I, I really don't like jungle camps. It's randomized, you have to basically look around for the jungle camps that you want so it can... So, so there's no, like, continuous... 
like strategy for going through the jungle. You just basically have to hope for the best. So uh, a lot of the time in this game, jungle isn't even considered. Ah, okay, just, um, yeah. Instead, you have like you have this uh, roaming, nice thing, which uh, players roam from lane to lane, and sometimes pick up a jungle a jungle camp here and there instead. I think um, one other difference in this game than League is if a character is fed, it's sometimes a bit more apparent in this faster, one. Faster. Well, that has to do with the amount of gold you lose uh, when you. Well, that, that's the double. Uh, the double. Problem. Here, be a fish. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a, there's a little customization option. One of the them is um, you sometimes get items that will change. Your abilities effects. Um, in this case, uh, Sean has a rod, which is a brand new one that uh, hit that ability would normally turn you into a frog, and now it turn because of the rod, it turns you into a fish. Little things about that I kind of like. It's yeah. I think it's mostly little things in this game. That your top like. tower but is getting Yes, there attacked. are problems with this game. Don't, don't yeah, get me like th th that happens in uh, in in uh, other games too. Like in League, the different um, your top skins, tower is under the different attack. skins change your abilities as well. Sometimes you've got more uh, protecting stuff. Sometimes you've got more. Uh, uh, sometimes you've got more. Uh, well, it, basically, they they can change the the different things. Um, like uh, Malphite, for example, the original I, yes. game, uh, he's a rock monster, but one of the skins turns him into an ice monster, um, and all his abilities look like the icicles and stuff like that instead. So, that happens in a lot of games, but uh, in this game, because you can change different items, which change the different skills, it, it, it can be pretty interesting. You can have some pretty cool combinations. Murder spree. Double kill. And uh, thanks to the community, that they're, 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 uh, there's some pretty cool, interesting ones showing up now and then so I quite uh, so I am interested I think I'm very interested in seeing what's going to be coming down in the future, the future of this game just just in general uh, various updates anyway New we are on we're doing pretty good so far yeah, we've been practicing this more than we've been practicing League recently which is probably why you saw us do very very crappy League that is not good that is really not good Wait, did I? Uh, I am a warlord and you will bow to me. Boss. Oh, oh I'm in the air. Help me. Uh, run, 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 run. I'll accept your proposal to run and ah. keep running. Run, keep running, keep running. Oh, shit, what the? Ah, Sean, look out. Yeah, I know. There's uh, I can do because I just got stuck. Uh, Hello! Game over! Oh, nice. Well done. Ah, uh, god, I love Troll Warlord. Get this guy some good life leech and evil guns. Ah, but I died. Yeah, I think, I think it's a bit more apparent here uh, than it that in that just just there just see one of the main things I like about this game is just that I feel more powerful in this game when I've been like I've got some of my half decent equipment it feels like a lot more is, I just like I've gained a lot more power I don't know it's maybe yeah. it, it, just a more power in this game yeah uh, it, it's it's to, it's to do with um, the amount of health everybody's got the fact that you do so much damage and stuff but, also uh, um the the various items here, like I've got uh, phase boots and a shadow blade. One makes gives me a sudden boost of speed when I need when I activate it. The other makes me invisible when I activate it. All these things uh, can help you completely change out how your gameplay goes, and I, I I quite like that a little. I think that's something that mo yeah m most of the um, what was it most of the the Dota, uh, sorry, the League of Legends items are passives rather rather than actives. My steel yeah. shall so, so a lot. So instead of having summoner spells, basically all the summoner spells from um, from uh, League of Legends are basically turned into items in this game. Yes. So instead, you have invisibility and uh, healing and uh, yeah, but the cooldowns are a lot less than the ones in League. Yeah, but you have to pay a lot of money for them as well. So to the that's the other thing. 
I know, to be honest, I, I, I end up using the ones in my items a lot more because the cooldowns are so are much less. Although that's not to say I didn't use my summoner spells in that last game a lot. The other, th the other thing is, like, the, the things that are the same as the summoner spells in the League are a lot less powerful in this game. They don't last as long, they don't do as much, they don't heal as much, they don't add as a shield for as much and stuff like that. Um, don't cross my path! Oh, uh, we've been silenced. Uh, oh yeah, um, one thing I'll say, um, I think it, in this war aren't arch. Ow, 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 they're, they're picking on me, Sean. Did you not grab the illusion? Hmm? Did you not grab the illusion? What illusion? Uh, never mind. Um, the uh, bloodthirst has been destroyed. Room break, and uh, I guess you didn't grab it. Um, uh, no, um, let's see, what... What was, what oh, was that that, that's another thing about the randomization. The runes in the river. These aren't these aren't in any other game. The runes that are in the river at the uh, there there's two of them in either side of the river. They spawn randomly on one side or the other, and they are a random rune. So again, that's another thing about the randomization. In a game like this, which is very 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 specific, um, I don't think there should be any randomization at all. Um, yeah, but the runes don't, don't exactly. Don't I don't mind criticals so much because criticals are random too. Don't get me wrong, but it, having too much randomization in this game can it can spoil a game that is this, this kind of sportsmanlike. Oh no, I I don't mind the odd level of randomization. It's just when it's if it's too I much, yes. then it gets then it, yes, it's understandable. But this I think has a nice balance here and there. Uh, there are, there are. Don't worry. There are, there are, there are games where I don't like randomness, but this, this one I can accept. It, it reminds me, like uh, games like TF2, where there's um. Yes. Well, TF2 doesn't actually have a lot of randomness, as far as I'm aware. But there, are, there, are, there are games where th you get yeah, random drops here and there, and they, I, I, I find they help add a little bit of variety to the gameplay. Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, it happened upon a rune, which is a double damage rune, as a, a character which does a lot of damage with right clicks. I am now invincible, and I can shoot anything down. Like, if, if you get a double damage rune, my god, you are literally, as, you are literally ridiculously invincible. Um, and oh. Oh, oh, I got ganked. <laughs> main issue, you have to be lucky enough to get it. Yeah. I guess. But to be honest, it uh, doesn't bother me as much. Um, let's see, I think I think we've basically covered off most of the major topics about this game. But oh, there, there is uh, there is one other thing which is uh, there's no um, there's no passive jungle buffs in this game. Uh, not even Roshan, though the big bad jungle creep. Uh, gives you a gives you a buff. It gives you an item which allows you to die once. Roshan has to fall fall to die. That one that um, Sven just picked up. Yeah. So yeah, I got the job. Hey, I got silencer. Watch out for Sven. Yeah. Uh, as you see here, you can uh, probably see on my screen. Expecting. There he comes. Sven is just. And now he's fish. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, one thing when uh, I say this is from a, another visual thing. Um, because in League of Legends they went through a dis an art style change. Um, the enemy started off World of Warcraft and then it, they started coming their own. Um, unlike this one, and this apart from this one, it all started off um, as their own art style. Uh, because of this. It doesn't feel like any of the uh, characters don't either belong in this universe or um, feel out of place in the Faster. visuals of the game. Faster. So that is a bit of a thing, but at the same time, uh, I don't mind it. Yeah, like uh, I, I, I don't, I don't uh, mind. I don't really like. Like I said, I'm not a big visual person, so the, the, this doesn't bother me much. Yes. But, um, with any game, how the how the things look. I mean, I like a nicely designed character. Some nice variety is always is always nice. Oh, um, but um, I, I'm not too. Wor I don't worry too much about uh, if visuals look different. I'm not a very artsy character. I'm not a artsy person in general. Uh, well, one one thing I'll say. Um, 
that sort of yes. feels a bit like well I, I like the various little uh, pieces you know the pieces of uh, I can customize and equip to my character um, you deserve it. no one set will ever change your character as much as a skin will in League of Legends but at the same time, I feel like I can pick and mix all the various things, so... Oh, uh, one thing I'll, I'll say that I like about this one is um, I feel like I get more from playing a, just playing a game. Um, in League of Legends, uh, like you'll get the first game and then that game will give you a good IP boost and then that boosts the IP you can spend on the character. That seems to be all you'll get from the game. I, oh, and you'll also get some XP, which will level you up a little and help you maybe get some, uh... Your middle tower is being attacked. Oh, uh, help you get some... Dominating. Damn, I just died again. Uh, it'll help you get some, um... You know, improve your masteries and such. In this, I feel like what I'll get is I'll get, um, not only the XP boost, which will, uh, help you get some... Don't that come on. Tougher games and all that jazz. But I will also get um, random drops like in TF2. These could be uh, anything simple from um, just like a little common item to a very rare item. And these Your items I can sell on the marketplace destroyed. for real money. Your middle barracks which is, is under kind attack. of a nice incentive to keep playing random games, so that is another is thing I quite like about this. I feel like my time is being slightly better spent here. I yeah, like, like being able to actually earn money off of this is nice, but it's the same sort of, there's the same sort of thing with TF2, which is you can only get so many things a week, so to speak, so to speak and uh, it, you're, it's random what you get. You could get something very common, it's not worth a lot, you could get um, something mythic or rare or I legendary yes, or whatever really. and you can sell them for a decent amount of mm. And you can customize the various items like in TF2 as well. Hate warms me. Like uh, well, it changed the name and such. You can, yeah, you can change the name, you can add runes and stuff that, that kind of mark your progress My with the item. So yeah. you can get kills and like the the uh, the fish thing I've got right now mar um, marks how much ma name. mana I've drained from other people with mana drain. Which is pretty mm. cool. Yeah, little things like that are quite nice. Um, yep. Oh yeah, man. Silencer, you like your silences. That's his thing. Yep. Um, let's see. Um, my steel. One thing. I'll 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 just say if you ever decide to look up the lore for this game, it's weird as shit no and slightly depressing. No since thoughts. apparently every single one of these creeps are, um, are no were once all humans. Like all the creeps were um, that charge the lanes were all apparently once humans, but ancients are apparently po cause us to become <laughs> creepy monsters that fall under the control. Just slightly different. Yeah. No but agony yeah, um, there are one thing I'll, I'll say. Um, there are quite a nice bunch of videos on the internet. Uh, yes. One for I, I know a good series that uh, will go into low, goes into lower. One went over the various heroes in the spotlight, which I found very useful for helping me to get to grips. So yes. there, there's a good community out there. Actually, that that is one of the things. Um, I find the community in this one is slightly better. While yes, there are still whiners and complainers and that, they don't seem they as dire structures I want to say have been fortified. In this one. But apparently, they are a little more elitist in this one, yeah. which is still. It's not. I'm not saying that's better, but it's it's. Uh, Fools. It's different, I guess. It, I don't know. It, if as long as you can play good, they should basically stay out of your mirror. Yeah, that's not that's not always true. You can play the best you can, and they can play. like I I at, when I was had like um, one, I three, and two. Uh, Dry Ranger was complaining that I was feeding them, which oh. is I'm not feeding them. Ah. So apparently she was complaining that I was feeding them earlier, and uh, we, I think, I think, um, so yeah, we've, we've had basically one complainer in both games, but you notice that Drow Ranger said her piece, 
and a stop. Like if you're playing, if, if um, if there's something particularly going particularly bad, then you can't have people that are really, really winchy and basically say that the team sucks. Not not just the person who, um, not just the person who died the most, but the whole team is default apart from them. That 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 happens quite a lot in this game. Yeah, and the little thing, report my team, they suck. Which usually involves me reporting them. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, that that happens quite a lot, to be honest, instead of just single players being singled out. Yeah. Oh, the, the other thing, the other thing is, uh, you may notice there's some people talking in this, uh, in this game. Uh, I've got my ear. Um, uh, yeah, there's voice chat in this game, so I'm actually in League. Um, oh, does Wait, League not have voice chat? No, it doesn't. Um, that's text chat and not voice chat. I don't think any. I don't know any other uh, mobiles that actually have voice chat. So that's an upside, I guess. These plays um, are too dry. Mm, oh yeah, uh, one one thing I, I quite liked is that um, what they've been doing, what they did path. for the international tournament in this one, they uh, they released a compendium, which was rather nice, which um, allowed, which helped. Uh, Helps a lot of people. Oh yeah, oh, as you can see, you can also draw on the map in this one. I have no idea if you can do that in uh, League, but you can draw on the map. Um, you can you can tell the uh, the computer to draw your closest. Uh, your basically the path finding. Uh, basically the path finding to uh, draw the uh, best line to uh, uh, to an objective. Basically by. Uh, the, the uh, actual signaling system in League, there's there's a number of things that you can do in League, you can't do in this, but in this one you can draw on the map, so I guess it kind of makes it for it, sort of. Mm. And of course people can just ping and ping and ping, and it's like, ah, gosh, jump. Oh, oh, he's oh, great, he's in his ultimate. Dominating. Oh. Oh. That's not his ultimate, that's <laughs> No, so, Blue Master, it's Blue Master's ultimate, it's annoying because he can oh, yeah. be like a, a null health and then. <laughs> kinda like that. He's. They like throw him in the air and it's like, ha! That'll stop him! And it's like, oh no wait, his ultimate can still hurt what? us. Your middle barracks is under yeah. attack. The, the other thing is, like, the, the, uh, so, so much of this game can be totally immune from one type of damage. Your middle barracks is being like attacked. That. Like, the. the uh, Earth Your middle has something called the Black Bar, bar which literally means that That's he is bad, immune to magic way. damage for 10, 9, uh, to, from anywhere between 10 and 4 seconds. And 10 and 4 seconds is enough to kill a person in this game. So basically he is completely is immune attacked. to a majority of, like, a, a good amount of the enemy team's damage for between 4 and 10 seconds. Your and middle tower is under siege. Like, well before um, the, the team goes to be over. Um, Your middle sorry, tower well, has basically fallen. Basically, you can be, you can be uh, still Your being well attacked. Your middle tower is being attacked. Ah, uh, quick I charge! I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Oh, I got silenced. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's, yeah, that is us, that's the only loss. Uh, I'm sure there's, no there's another already, example of something that if you get silenced. No, no, my character does not like silence. Uh, mainly Troll Warlord. Best way to kill Troll Warlord, silence him. That, my guy... Really yeah. realizing skills. Your ancient like, is under attack. Victory really goes to that die. basically nullifies another good portion of the enemy team's damage for a good many I think it's like a good uh, five to seven seconds. I thought we were gonna win this one. Uh, Maybe not. We could well thank you, thank everyone for joining us at MOBA Madness. Well Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully next time we can win. Yeah. Please. Join us next time first, my drive for Oh yeah. Has found a donor. Uh, it's tough to be a god, mm. but we will try to do it on smite. And well, see you later. Uh,